Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a day in my life as an emergency department scribe. So I am not a morning person, but these shifts require you to wake up so early. On this specific day, I woke up at 4.51 and I was so tired. My morning routine before a hospital shift is usually pretty simple. I typically keep my hair up, but since I did curls this day, I just left my hair down. Technically, it's still fall, but because it's so cold, I always wear an undershirt underneath my scrubs. And here's the fit. I don't wear that much makeup to the hospital because, I mean, like I'm working at the hospital, but I still want to look alive, so I usually do my eyebrows, and then today I also did my eyelashes. Time to pack so i have my keyboard my ipad my laptop my essentials bag my charger i also have my notebook my k94 mask and also my water and i used to feel some type of way about crocs but they're so comfortable and perfect for the hospital good morning it is 5.39. I have work from 6 to 4 today. Because I left the house a little early and I also was feeling sleepy, I took a pit stop to Starbucks. And if you stay to the end of my video, I answer some questions about being a scribe, like what are the benefits of being a scribe and why I decided to do it. We are finally here. I only see one ambulance, which is good. Parking lot doesn't look too busy. Before I start my shift, I like to clean my work area so that we'd be nice and sanitary during COVID season. I often use this time to study, so I like to charge my devices at the start of my shift so that I can use them later on. This is my work setup, and actually this was the first time I've ever used my keyboard at the hospital, so it was pretty interesting. So scribing in a nutshell is basically me taking notes on this notepad that I'm showing you right now, and then me going back to the computer and documenting it onto patient charts. Then as I am sitting around waiting for labs or x-rays to come back, I like to study. Because I am not allowed to violate HIPAA, I can't show patient information or patients in general. So this is what it looks like if I was to get called to go see a patient. And then afterwards, I would just come back and sit down and repeat. When I filmed this, I had finals coming up, so I was just sitting there and studying for my exams. But even when I was doing that, I had to make sure that I was alert. And I have to make sure that I don't miss any information that the doctor may tell me. And like I said before, I can't really show myself seeing patients, so this is what I look like when I go um, take notes <laughs> with the doctor. <laughs> like I said earlier, I always have to remain alert, so as soon as I hear something, I throw my iPad to the side and get back to work. Today the ED was not busy, which is good because people aren't as sick, but also good because I have time to study. But even then, I can only study for so long before I get tired. And time was going by so slowly this day. Like it was slow to the point where I was falling asleep. One of my most favorite things about the hospital is that they have the soft ice that you can chew and it's so good. So I went to go get some to put into my latte. Bathroom break. It is 10 o'clock and we've seen 12. So that's like pretty average. Lunch time. Fortunately for me, lunch is free because lunch is free for the doctors and because I work for the doctors, I get free food.
After studying, I go and take a two second nap. And afterwards, I go and refill my water. So I don't really get breaks at the hospital. It's kind of like if the doctor is not currently doing anything and I'm not seeing a patient, then I can just go grab some water, go to the bathroom, etc. It was only a 10 hour shift for me this day. And because we did not have enough time to pick up any more patients, I was allowed to leave an hour early. And we out, yay. I was supposed to get off at four, but I got off at three. Even though um, a bunch of ambulances started coming in at the end, um, it was getting towards the end of our shift, so the doctor did not pick up any more ambulance patients. Today was relatively slow compared to the other days I've worked, but I still saw some pretty interesting stuff. Like I saw two intubations, a finger reduction. Like on x-ray, his bone was like crooked and the doctor just pulled on it and it's back in place. I saw a lot of shortness of breath patients, but surprisingly, I didn't see any COVID today. There's been like a big decrease in COVID. Right when I was starting off, every single patient I saw had COVID. Before I head home, I went to give you some information about scribing in general. I scribe in the emergency department. I thought it was gonna be like crazy and hectic. Like, oh my God, these people are coming in and they're like, like gunshot wounds and and um, car accidents and all this stuff but in reality there are a lot of minor cases like abdominal pain and foot pain back pain things like that so it's not as crazy as i expected i was a little nervous when i heard emergency department i currently work at four different hospitals on rotation and i work with several doctors there's so many reasons why i think scribing is a good idea one you can rack up clinical hours like so quickly because each shift is about 10 to 12 hours. I'll have some shifts that are 11, some shifts that are nine hours, but for the most part, they are either 10 hours or 12 hours. We are required to work a minimum of six shifts a month. This month I was scheduled for six shifts and I picked up three extra shifts. The shift I worked today was a shift I picked up. So this is a very good way to get clinical hours for med school. Number two, well, you are literally spending a whole entire day with a doctor. That means a good letter of recommendation and also future connections. The next thing, the amount of exposure you get to the medical field. I did not know that much medical terminology before I started. I worked as a caregiver for a little bit, but I was not exposed to medical terms. It was more about their daily living. I have learned a lot of anatomy and also pathology because I was scribed. Before I scribed, I didn't know any of this and it really like overlaps with your classes. So it's a very good way to get exposure. And it's also really important to see like doctor to patient interact <laughs> interaction, interaction. And the last thing would probably be flexibility. I'm still in school right now. I give them my availability and then they'll give me shifts back based off of my availability. And I have the freedom to pick up as many shifts as I can. But yeah, I started training at the end of July. It was paid training. And I finished training in the beginning half of August and started by myself the second half of August. And it's December right now, about four months. I have learned so much and I am so glad that I decided to do this. Before I decided to apply, I was actually very nervous. I heard it was so fast paced and a lot of times physicians may be a little difficult to work with. But in my experience so far, I think it's manageable. I can get a lot of schoolwork done. And also the doctors are very nice. They're very human. They've all been very sweet to me. So overall, I've just really enjoyed the experience. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support your girl. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.